Hello, Unity folks. I wanted to show you Unity 3D running on Ubuntu 11.04. So there's this product crossover from Code Re Weavers, Crossover Pro, which lets you run Windows apps on Linux. And I've gone to the Unity website and I've downloaded the Unity installer. And after you've installed Crossover, you can run the installer through Crossover. And this is uh, similar to the Win project. It's just the, uh, it's got more support and stuff. It's a bit of a technical marvel. Figuring out how to record a video on Linux and getting this to work. Okay, so when when you install when you install through Crossover, you can install into what they call bottles, and so I've created the new bottle to hold the Unity install. And this will set up all the uh, dependencies and launch the installer here. Now this will install Unity into the bottle. Just like if it was running on Windows. Get the same dialogs. You can pick and choose what components you want to install. If you install the web player, you also want to install Firefox. And this runs for quite a while. So normally you'd let that complete and then when it was done it would create the icons you see here on the desktop. I've done this a few times so I've got a few different versions. And being on the Linux system, occasionally you might want to troubleshoot things, so when things go crazy, I can use the task killer. I can use the terminal to kill rogue processes. You can also manage cross crossover uh, bottles, and they have their own task manager. I didn't actually need to let it complete because I've already installed it twice. So I'm going to go install, install, not install. Here I'm going to launch Unity 3.4. And it detected I have a previous version running. previous running version in that bottle. So the first time I installed it, I installed it with everything. And then that second one is uh, an install without the demo project. I actually tried to record this video three times, but uh, If the Ubuntu Unity window manager kicks the bucket, it takes down my recording. It's very painful. Okay. 
Okay, we want to find something called after you install the the demo package or or the full version. There's something called manage bottles. This will let us get the uh, bottle back into a state where we want. So here's where uh, Crossover needs a little bit more support uh, from Unity. It's almost there, but if you go to tr create a new project, it has that new project dialog can't quite figure out that it's creating a new folder. This is the Manage Bottle tool. There's tools for, you can simulate a reboot, and they even have a Task Manager tool where if it turned out that the Window Manager crashed when you're running Unity, you need to go back through and and kill your uh, the Unity process. Works just like if it was running in Windows, just regular Task Manager. I'm going to go back to that first install that has the Unity demo in it. There we go. Try this again. Should have just ended the task. Kill the process. That's what you really want to do. Yes, it doesn't have a valid handle because the window manager crashed. So this time I'm going to run it. And this was is what you're here to see. So you'll see Unity launch up. And then it'll load the, the demo scene. Now, I'm running on a laptop manufactured in 2004, so holy cow, it's old. Doesn't seem that long ago, but it's got an NVIDIA 6800. That was pretty top of the line back then. But now, it needs to be an NVIDIA 9800. Not a dusty. Oh, let's see. Nice. Spam over Skype. This is all always useful to watch, just in case you have to troubleshoot stuff. Gonna kill the task. Yeah, the handle went crazy. Simulated reboot. It's a good idea. Must be done already. Alright, now this time when we run it, we'll see the 
the goods. Get a running in on Ubuntu. Here we go. I have to be very cautious while I'm doing this because if for some reason it crashes my window manager, it will take down this video. So I'll do a few. Interact with the UI a little bit and then get out. Would have been nice to use Shazam for video recording, but that's not quite working yet on Ubuntu 11.04. So I'm using something called Desktop Recorder. That outputs some strange Vorbis AUG file that I have to run through Blend Encoder 4. And then I get a WMV. I can run WMV through Microsoft Movie Maker. And then I can splice the audio and the video together and uh, then you can see what I upload to YouTube after it's published. All right, so here's the Angry Bots demo. It's running in Ubuntu 11.04. We can interact with the scene. I'm just hoping I don't crash it because then you would never see any of this. Response time is pretty fast. If it works this this well already, if the Unity guys just got together with the crossover guys, they could really polish this. See how the, the interface mostly works. Then we saw the inspector there. I'm just being overly cautious. This being my third time trying to make this video. And I better save it. 